Hello everyone, Nadlef here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on geometry nodes. I'm going to keep this simple, so what we want to do to play around with geometry nodes, if you're looking at this tutorial somewhere in like October, November-ish, I don't know when Blender 3.0 is coming out, but in Blender 3.0, if we go to download Blender, scroll down to experimental, and we download Blender 3.0 and run it, and when you run it and you get 3.0 point alpha in the top right with the space background, you can see that we have access to something called geometry nodes. Now, it is available in Blender 2.9.0. Point two, at least to my knowledge, or at least up till that point, but it's not as advanced or good in Blender 3.0, and that's why we're here. Uh, sorry, uh, just a quick note. If you want to open the Geometry Notes tab, um, I kind of glossed over this in the original video. I'm recording this during editing. Uh, you want to make sure you go over here to this time, this like time icon, which is actually representing the timeline. You want to make sure you go to Geometry Node Editor, and you want to click Geometry Node, and then you want to like click on your object, and then make a new geometry nodes material, I guess you want to call it. Um, you can make multiple of them. That's not an issue, but um, I guess I'll just call it a material for lack of a better word, but that's just how you would work with geometry nodes and actually get the system set up. The rest of the tutorial is fine though. So we're going to start with our default cube here and we're just going to attach a geometry nodes. I guess you could call it shader. I'm not sure what to call it specifically, but it's kind of like a shader where you go to shading tab and then you click on like new material or something and you have the nodes up here. It's kind of similar, but it's also different because it allows us to play with objects instead of colors and how things look and refract light. So we, over here we have geometry input. So that's our cube or that's the geometry information of this cube. So you can see if I get rid of it, then we have no output. But if I bring it back, we have our cube. So this is what we see. This is the base mesh. So if I was going to subdivide it or something, then having that point out there is part of this group input. That's just something to keep in mind. So let's get rid of that and also the subdivide. And there we go. So what we have over here is our input and our output. So what a lot of people do with geometry nodes is instant stuff and make points. So remember that word points. Um, and that's one of the terms you want to get into your mind, which is the idea of a point. Uh, what is a point? Well, why don't I just show you? So we go to point distribute. So we're gonna go over here and we're going to be plugging it into our output and you can see we get nothing. Why? Because we actually have to put in the mesh. If you see the arrow over here, it says input geometry must contain a mesh, and that's basically the geometry. So just connect the node, and now we have points. Yay. Uh, we can increase the density, a lot of points, basically approximating the cube. But what happens if we want to see the cube and the points at the same time? Well, we could go to uh, geometry, sorry, geometry, geometry, join. So join geometry, same idea. And what we can do is uh, just place it down. So now we have our geometry from our points, but we can also get our cube, and now we can see both at the same time. I'm going to get rid of it, bring it back later. Uh, and what can we do with points? Well, uh, let's think about it. So we can um, we can instance an object onto the point. So if we instead of getting these weird like cubes, I don't even know what they're all, but like tr like tilted squares, whatever they're uh, instead of having those, we can have, I don't know, another cube. But let's make this one smaller and just move it over to the side. We're going to click back onto our, our 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 point cube or whatever you want to call this geometry nodes object. And we're going to do point. So just click point instance. That's how you make a bunch of points come together. Now I'm going to instance this object over here. And now you can see we get a lot of in or Z fighting. I was going to say infighting because I've been playing a lot of Doom recently. But uh, in uh, Z fighting, which is basically the idea of things overlapping. So how can we fix this? Well, there's two ways to fix this. And you can see over here that the scale I'm using does not affect these objects over here on the left. Well, why? I have to go and apply scale. I have to shrink again and apply scale. Well, that's horrible and tedious. How about I go over here to my geometry nodes and I say, hmm, what do I want to say? Well, well, what is scale? Well, if we go over here, scale is part of this uh, uh, X. Oops, that was a lot. Uh, scale is part of this like attribute list. So um, I know it's not called attributes over here, but in geometry nodes, it's called attributes. So attribute randomize because who doesn't love a little bit of randomization in a good old Blender project? So we can go over here and we're going to just type in the attribute we want to change. If I, if I expand this a bit, you can see attribute. The attribute we want to change is, let's say, scale. If scale doesn't show up. I'm not sure why. But if you type in scale as is and you like play around with min and max values, you can see you start to see some like really cool results. Like That's already starting to look like something interesting. Uh, we have a bunch of cubes placed around and I don't know if we placed a light in the center. If we place the light in the center, like that's already looking like something. Let's see what it would look like in cycles. Uh, basically the same. 
yeah, or if we decrease this, or even went inside and looked around a bit. I guess that, that looks slightly interesting, but we can do a lot more with geometry nodes, not just place a bunch of cubes. What happens if we wanted to rotate the cubes? Well, let's just move everything over a bit. How do we rotate the cubes? Well, control C, control V. Now we have another attribute randomized, but we're going to place it back down into this uh, chain, and we're going to see uh, a bunch of things we can play with. So let's say rotation. Well, there we go. Now we have a bunch of random rotation. And I remember watching a tutorial on geometry nodes, and they said just make sure you max out these values like crazy. It's not going to harm anything, but if this if these values are below pi, so if they're like two, then you're going to get like weird randomized results. I'm not exactly sure what the reason or method or the idea was, but they said like if it's below pi, then you're going to get like bad randomization. So just make sure these numbers are like insanely large. Uh, it's not going to harm your computer or anything. Just in the hundreds or fifties or tens or whatever is good. But now you can see we have randomized points. Well, that's a good start. We've basically instance points. So what we've done is basically distributed a bunch of cubes onto a another cube. We've also attribute randomized their scale, their rotation there. We've instanced these points. Uh, we've actually got an object and instanced them. But what happens if, uh, and this is like uh, the last bit of the tutorial. Uh, what happens if I want to grab an object from the scene and I want to actually like move, uh, like have it affect the node. So what a lot of people do is they have an empty plane set of axes and they go over here to their geometry nodes and type in object info. This is the node you want to place and you can do some crazy stuff with this one. So let's say I want to have the rotation or, or let's say I want to have these plane axes affect the rotation. What can I do? Well, I can gr grab this location um, uh, vector and I can place it into, um, well, none of these actually, because that won't work. Why? Because we want to make sure that our scale, or actually this is another thing. If you want to randomize all three X, Y, Z of any property, then you have to go down and you have to select vector. Now you can see that we have a bunch of like um, rectangular prisms instead of everything just being a cube, which makes it a lot interesting, a lot more interesting rather. So you can see over here we have vector and it makes it more interesting, but we can also, we also have access to a lot more stuff now. We have access to the random uh, X, Y, and Z min values. But what happens if we plug in a location of a random object into max? Well, we get this, uh, but we also have to instance or we have to select the object that we want to use. So I'm gonna use this empty planes axis over here. And if I do not rename it, but actually click G to move it, you can see that we start to get some pretty interesting results. And um, yeah, it does like flicker or like it does do that, or like it does like glitch a little bit. But I, from my understanding, if you just max out these values over here or make them really large, you can see that we have very little glitching or basically non-existent. Just make sure these don't go near zero. Just make sure that these uh, values don't go near zero. Just like max them out basically. And either negative or positive doesn't matter. Just make sure it doesn't go near zero. And you can see over here, we get some pretty nice rotations. Um, it seems to glitch when I go to like the edges of the screen. So let me just stay in the center. You can see that we get some pretty nice rotations indeed. And the same thing can be done with the, with the position. So over here, if we go like with our location to the max over here, you can see that we get some, not you, but if we move you, we get some pretty interesting results once again. So yeah, so that was basically a demonstration of what you could do. These are just simple things that you could do with geometry nodes. Uh, so we learned how to distribute points. We learned how to randomize rotation scale. You could even do position if you wanted to. Um, position works too, perfectly fine. Oops, I don't want. I want to move these axes. You can see that the farther I move away these axes, it's kind of like a, a cube almost, or like a, a cube, a point of cubes that I can control. So there's a bunch of crazy things that you could do with it. So we learned how to randomize positions, instance certain objects. You could also do collections. So if you want to instance, let's say, uh, a bunch of things. So let's say we have, uh, instead of just cubes, we also want to do spheres. Uh, we could just grab a sphere over here, uh, make it about the same size as our original cube, which is over here, bring them together. And what we want to do is just uh, apply scale. And we also want to right click and move them to a new collection. Oops, I moved my mouse too quickly. A new collection called just objects, I guess. Okay, and we click back over here. We want to instance a collection objects now you see we have spheres and cubes and we get this really interesting pattern i'm not sure why the pattern is there but you can see that there's some pretty crazy things that you can do with geometry nodes if you just play around with it and if you're wondering why we're getting these crazy geometric results it's because right now we are instancing a collection a whole collection if we did uh regular parts we we're going to get those that cube thing again 
But if we did whole collection, that's a different story. And we get this like pretty cool, interesting, like arrangement of ad like it's almost like ele electron clouds in a very very strange way or like that looks like dna at that point but you get the idea you have to like play around with this like a lot of people say i've been playing around with geometry nodes and i made this and i'll be showing a couple examples on the screen of what i've done with geometry nodes like in, like the two three four days i've been playing with them but you can see that there's some pretty crazy things that you could do uh just by playing around with it and yeah i just wanted to do a very simple tutorial on geometry nodes where you could learn to randomize things place things, instance things, and use object info to uh, affect the geometry nodes. So that's all I wanted to do because these are like the four basic operations you're going to do. And I could even show a very quick example of some projects I've been working on where I've used these and I've actually like made, I've actually made use of uh, uh, these ideas. So you can see over here, I was playing around with stuff and I basically were playing, I was playing around with random geometric objects and I was playing around with uh, just, you can see over here, I've just been randomizing a couple of things and we have some pretty interesting, like crazy results. If I hop into another project. Yeah, over here, I was playing around with some sort of like uh, 3D uh, center or something. But you can see I was I was using a cylinder this time and I was just in, I was just doing point distribute, scale and instance. That's all I was doing. And I was playing around with random objects to try to make something cool. I didn't think this looked cool. So I, I dropped the project and I moved on to a different one. Um, there are some other stuff, like moving stuff, so it's pretty good. Um, this is I actually rendered this one so you can see over here we have some basic stuff and this time I use a, a sample texture um, I'll link a tutorial where I found it and figured out how to use it but you can see that over here we have some like pretty interesting like moving caterpillar like wave like thing that was also made in geometry nodes and of course this one's a little bit more complex by the way this is not how you do randomization of a float um, just saying this is a horrible way to do it but um, uh, never mind that it still worked and you can see over here we have like something pretty interesting with geometry notes. And um, uh, if I go over here, if I go to open recent again, um, there has to be something interesting. Oh yeah, this one was another one where um, basically a bunch of things come together and they like disappear. And I also rendered this one out. Um, I'll probably, I mean, it looks the exact same. Uh, I guess there's no point in showing the GIF. It's, it's, it's literally just this on repeat. So you can see, um, let's look at the geometry nodes version of it. So the plane that I used over here, so let me just move this over. You can see over here, we're like using two object infos. And if I go into the uh, uh, solid mode, you can see that there's actually two things moving. So there is the mod two, where is mod two? Hello, uh, mod two is over there at the start and mod one over here. So you can see mod one is moving around and that's actually controlling the way the particles move. So that's something you wanna keep in mind if you wanna make like cool animations. Mm, so looking, oh, um, okay, no, this was, a, this was a, a different thing altogether, but it was still pretty interesting to play around with it. Um, again, I'm using geometry nodes here, but uh, I was doing something different with the uh, with the array modifier. Uh, totally different thing altogether. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about geometry nodes. And uh, you can see over here, this was a, like a tutorial version. I can I was I was working on before I started the tutorial. So basically, I wanted to go over distribute, scale, randomization, object info. Um, I was going to do some vector addition, but it didn't really matter. Uh, I mean using object info is perfectly fine. And if you had to do some sort of addition, you could just type in vector add or vector math, sorry. And then you could play around with it. So add this vector with some, I don't know, large vector, put it into max. And you can see we get the same, res like similar results, but slightly different. Um, anyway, uh, I guess if you did project or something, it would be more interesting. I don't know, but I'll, you can see that I just wanted to go over uh, the basic ideas of distribute, scale, randomize, and grab object info. That'll probably be the uh, title of the video, and I've done enough rambling for today. That's all I wanted to do for Geometry Nodes. Have an amazing day. Here. So we can see over here we have our default cube. I'm not going to delete it. Don't worry. It's okay, cube. But whatever. Um, uh, whatever. Uh, what we have... So what we have... But, of course, it... it but, of course, the... Or the 